two, one, blast off. All right, so spawning up here on the top left-hand side of pseudo map number one, Belshire Vestige Ladder Edition, we have our blue Protoss player, Nine Kadwa. And spawning as the red pieces, uh, Protoss player in the bottom right, Nine Denra. So a clan mate. Perhaps they've played together before. And uh, maybe maybe they're both really cheesy. Maybe maybe as a Protoss player, this is this is Kadwa's protege. And they are uh, duking out to see who is the, the true master of cheese. It's possible. Confirmed game one. Is yes. this just uh, Combat X versus Deezer? It, you know what? If it's Battle of the Cannon Rushes, I would love that. It's great. This, this would be very, very entertaining. It's like, it's like yo, Cadwa, if you're listening to the stream, you need to build some more cannons, bro. <laughs> 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 Best cheese connoisseur, yes. Now, interesting, we have a gas coming out of Cadwa first, so my guess is actually going to be Proxy DT. Proxy That's DT or guess. Proxy Stargate? And I'm going to say Proxy DT. I think DT is probably a good choice, um, especially uh, oh, we see Gateway opening out of Denra. I don't expect Denra to have any um, any detection. That's true. Combat X and Ds are great for a laugh. I, you know, in all honesty, the day I got married, two hours before I actually got married, we watched that entire series just for a good laugh. Fun fact. It's funny, no matter how many times you watch it as well, you know it's what's true. coming. But it's, it's true. Actually, it's, I think it's been long enough that I forget who won the series, so you better not spoil it for me so I can watch it again. Well, you know Combat X is the best cannon rusher from Brood War on Metalopolis, so. Yeah, that is true. Pretty hard to beat. That's pretty hard to beat. Now, we do see the scouting probe coming out from Cadwa, which is very uncharacteristic of Cadwa. Now, he also has a gateway going down. That's not a scout probe, dude. This is oh, shit. proxy pylon probe, and there you oh, see proxy shit. pylon. Scout? Who the hell does that? <laughs> <laughs> Who needs scouting? Who needs scouting in PvP? But we also see the response from Denra, the, the proxy pylon, in the exact oh, shit, uh, or, or in the top right, so not the exact position. Now, build-wise, Cadwa is ahead. His cybernetics core is down. Uh, we do see, actually, a double pylon coming out of Denra. Nice. Um, Denra actually went gateway first, so uh, he will have that initial zealot out quicker, but I don't know. You know, It's probably not going to matter too much, considering if both of these players are going for DTs, well, uh, uh, the, the initial zealot's not going to be too important. Um, we have Forge going down for Denra. So, ooh, so so it actually is Proxy Stargate. I called oh, it. Shit. Yes, he was you wrong, did. and I was right. So this is uh, Proxy Stargate, and that is incredibly close. Faust, that is uh, that is pretty sweet. I can't top that one. I'm really sorry. Can't do it. Checked it off the bucket list. <laughs> Double just... gas coming out of Denra. And what what actually are we going to see out of Denra? We have a forge going down, so I'm actually kind of confused as to what the, the actual tech path, because last time I checked, the forge tech path didn't need gas. I don't know. I mean, maybe he is just putting down cannons because he expects something crazy out of Gadwa, which you know, would be a reasonable expectation. Um, actually, a void ray on the way for Gadwa, not that oracle. Proxy void rays. The void ray. Oh, there's a... There's a... <laughs> Stargate for Denra, so oh shit. Uh, maybe he's gonna place a cannon or two, and you know, because obviously forge upgrades don't affect uh, the Stargate except for shields. Um, now, interesting to note, Cadwa. Okay, Cadwa just now getting three guys on that geyser, so he's gonna be able to sustain production off of this one Stargate. And I, you know what? This is almost better than Combat X versus Deezer. We don't see any anti-air for Denra I mean, besides that one Stalker, which you know. I just. Not going to do a whole lot against that Void Ray. He has no cannons down. He actually did go for that uh, uh, for that expansion as well. But here comes the Void Ray. Yeah, I you know the six minute Void Ray is hard to beat as uh, as we do see here. And there it is. You know, prismatic alignment on that pylon. <laughs> this is no ridiculous is to be found. And uh -oh. I think it's pretty oh, much no. GG at this point. Oh no. Uh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. He has the cannon down. Oh my, oh. Yeah, but the Target. pylon's gonna die. Uh, he's dropping another oh, pylon shit. on it. It's not oh, gonna be shit. done in time. And and he also has an oracle on the way. That's gonna seal the deal. Um, but the, this is so funny because 
Uh, also, also that that nexus there on the bottom right. You see that? Oh my God, Gadwa! The Oracle is coming in well, now. My cannon is just out of oh, out of range, no. but that one done. That one is finished. Oh no! Oh no! Yeah, Gadwa. I was right. Hey, why Gadwa? Absolutely relentless now. Another void ray is on the way here. A long distance mining has commenced. That's that right, up. and there's actually no energy on this oracle. Uh, yeah, there. it kills, however. That one just kind of left it, left it up and running. It's pretty oh, much just... is he going to get it? Is that warping going to finish? It? it does. The warping finishes. The stalker is done, but it's not going to matter. That void ray again with prismatic alignment. And Cadwad so, is continuing to work away. The second void ray has arrived there, and it's going to be able to take out that photon uh, cannon. Actually, the pylon actually uh, takes care of that. No worries there. Um, I really expect a, a GG soon. There's not a whole lot Denra can do. Of all the things we expected from Cadwa, I was hoping for DTs. But we still got the proxy void rate, which is just fine. I, I think that satisfies our cheese requirements. Yeah, I, I think Cadwa definitely satisfied the cheese requirement for the day. But there are three cannons here, and if he doesn't get them in time, that could be annoying, though. Prismatic alignment is super good. Skill rays are definitely. Uh, I was gonna say I heard skill rays were a good unit. There's but... a GG from Denra, and you know, I was gonna mention that this game in particular just reminded me of something that Scipio and I watched the other day. Um, so we were going through Scipio's replays from like 2010. So this is back when Wings. Of Holy the shit! Zero's raging. <laughs> Zero's raging. Yeah, but prismatic alignment works against buildings because all buildings are armored. Got to remember that. Oh shit! <laughs> um, Zero, you can come back into the conversation. The game is over. Yeah. I promise. Uh, he only works against armored. Buildings are armored. Are they guaranteed armored? They have the armored attribute. Are you sure? You sure? Yeah, buildings, all buildings are armored, man. <laughs> so that sure. kills them faster. I'm, I'm absolutely positive. It's something I've actually gone out of my way to make sure of before. <laughs> he actually tested this out. He For science. The unit tester, he's like, okay, command center. They are armored. <laughs> he got like his little StarCraft now, notebook out. And was <laughs> Fun fact, Zerg buildings are armored biological structure. He definitely has the notebook out on his desk right now. <laughs> Probably reading line for line. <laughs> Fuck it's like, you okay, guys, on man. today's Zerg, I went I into the shit. unit tester. Prismatic alignment works against everything because it makes the opponent shit themselves. Oh, or, shite. Or it's, shite themselves. It's shite themselves, yeah. Shite themselves. You have to be, you have to be sure about that one. That's Prismatic right. Prismatic alignment works against everything because it makes the opponent shite themselves. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> You're suggesting that void rays migrate. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. So also for, for game two we've got derelict watchers, so let's boot that one up. Um, no, I Wonderful. Was, I was I'm already mention... booted up. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I I don't know what you guys I have a story to tell. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't story time with Uncle Freaks. It is. <laughs> Uncle Freaks. I already started the story, you have to let me finish it. Oh so, come on. Anyway. Scipio and I are going through these replays on Wings of Liberty Pack from 2010, and he has one labeled How to Own Terran, and I'm like, well, let's check that one out. It obviously hasn't worked out for you now, so... <laughs> I don't so, think you actually said that. I, I actually think I did. Um, but anyway, so uh, we, we, we go into this replay, and uh, I'm really interested to see how, you know, back then, um, he discovered the, the, the mystery um, of how to actually defeat Terran as Protoss. Well, turns out it, this... this this game's on Scrap Station, which, if you remember, is is a uh, Scrap Station. Shit Station. Yeah, okay, Shit Station 2, where uh, it, the, the map is like a giant V, and the, the, the spawn points are at the top of the V, and they're really, really close by air. And all it was was a, a Void Ray rush, a Stargate rush. And, you know, so, so if you build a Stargate in your base on Scrap Station, it's pretty much by default a, a proxy Stargate just because you spawn basically next door to each other. So it's kind of interesting to see. Um, yeah, apparently that, that's how you beat Terran. 
um, this proxy proxy Stargate. But it's was not there... going to work out for you on most maps. Zero, did you catch any part of that story? All I heard was scrap station, blah blah blah, void rays pl uh, proxy. I, I, it doesn't sound that's, very fun that's, to that's, me. That is actually pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much how it works. So it just yeah. does not not sound very amusing to me. <laughs> what, what house? You can fuck off. Zero, <laughs> you can also fuck off. I thought it was a it was a hilarious game to watch because oh, I'm sure it was because it's always fun to go back and watch old games, but but it was like blatantly described as Scipio's go-to build, but I'm like, it's, it's not going to work on any other map. Except yeah, for you guys don't want to see my Wings of Liberty replays. Mine weren't very good. Those are that pretty uh, good. pretty bad. <laughs> so uh, we are sitting here in uh, Derelict Watcher, this, this replay here. Let me uh -huh. go uh -huh. zero seconds. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, well, yeah, Zero and I are sitting here in Derelict Watcher. So we've been sitting here for a little bit now. Yeah. <laughs> well, so have I, but I had Come to on, buddy. That fucking story. Come guys. on, buddy. Seriously? Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, well, what are we waiting for now? I mean, what's bottom know, left? Right? Are you on bottom left? You better be on bottom I, I, sir, left. I'm at the I bottom am. left here. All right. I'm, si I'm sitting All right. right here. All right. All right. I'm Counting down. Count. Starting the countdown now. Starting the countdown, freaks. Freaks. 5 <clears throat> 4 <clears throat> 3 <laughs> Two, one, blast up. Nice. <laughs> so, so, okay, spotting on the bottom left of Derelict Watcher Tournament Edition, we have Cadwa, who is up 1 0 in this series with that ultimate proxy Stargate cheese. His opponent spawning up here on the top right hand side of Derelict Watcher. We do have 9 to Nera down 0 1, falling obviously to Cadwa's Master Cheese. I think it's just Denrod. I Denera. Den, or Denra. Yeah. Denwa. Uh, De Denra. Denwa. <laughs> Denwa. Shit. We can't combine names here. We just we just can't do it. They're in the same clan, though. They're, they're probably brother and sister or something. <laughs> I'm going to stay away from that one with a 30 foot pole. <laughs> and we do see the first pylon for Denra coming down. First pylon for Cadwa, also about halfway finished. Cadwa's pylon a little bit behind. Not that big of a deal at this point, though. I'd like to see him go for the DTs this time. I mean, the, the proxy Stargate was definitely fun to watch. Um, super fast void rays for how you win this game. But uh, D DTs would definitely be an interesting touch. Or the Cannon Rush Wars, or the, the four gate from both sides. There's a whole lot of things that we could see from, from both of these Protoss players. I mean, PvP is probably my favorite mirror matchup. I like ZBZ, TBT is absolute garbage, but PvP is definitely the one that takes the cake for me and really I mean, everybody hates it but but I like it. I don't know about you. I hate it with a passion. See why? Uh, because it's a coin flip. Uh like to actually play it it's very very frustrating because if you simply it, I mean obviously if you miss scout you're going to lose but it's like there are some things in this matchup that can still just just win. Yeah. Um obviously as we've had in discussions in the past Stargate beats Robo. <laughs> So basically, if anyone goes Void Rays at any point in the game and you just don't go Void Rays, you're probably going to lose. And it makes the matchup really, really frustrating. Yeah, I suppose that is kind of uh, frustrating. Um, I'm trying to think of what you would do in response to Void Rays besides build your own Void Rays. And at that point, you've already, you're have already you already too late. So. Yeah, I mean, basically, if, if you don't scout that early enough, obviously, it's like any other matchup. If you don't scout it early enough and respond, it's, it's an automatic loss. Um, now, I have seen Void Rays picked apart kind of, sort of, by, like, Blink Stalkers, but you have to be really good with your control. Yeah, but... I mean, at that point, it comes down to micro and not your macro. I mean, you could have perfect macro, but if you're not building Void Rays against Void Rays, then, you know, Stalkers are obviously, you know, they're, they're decent, but they just get torn apart by a prismatic alignment. And also, I actually, no, it doesn't, it doesn't actually tell you on uh, Game Heart. Um, okay, yeah, okay, it does. When there's no production on the building, you can click it and you can see armor. There you go, guys. There's your confirmation. There, I don't or have a notebook for you guys. <laughs> or how about we just look at the normal UI and it says armored structure? Uh, well, uh, Zero and I use Game Heart, so I mean, you're oh, you God. in the dust look right we, now. Look at what we have here. We have a proxy expansion from Cadwa up here <laughs> to the left. I don't think I'd consider that a proxy as it's pretty much just as far away. 
a little bit shorter of a distance, but but still. That's... No, this is this might actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna venture to say it. The proxy nexus rush. <laughs> the the planetary nexus. The planetary nexus rush. It's a little bit too far away for that, but I mean that would be another gonna, thing that would be fun to see. Right? The mothership core is out, so I mean, photon overcharge is an option. That's true, and like I said, he might he might like go plant the the nexus in his opponent's base because that would just be wonderful. Mm -hmm. And actually, look at this. We do have an oracle in production for Den Denera. Well, I keep wanting. <laughs> Denera, you could want to say that, huh? But, but that's okay. Um, but like you were just saying, um, Stargate beats yeah. Robo. And we see a Robo coming out for Cadwall and a Stargate already done for Denra. So what are we going to see, man? I mean, you, you, you've you I mean, always obviously been we're going to see an Oracle. I well, mean, <laughs> what are we. Uh, that wasn't the fucking question, man. <laughs> I mean, I partially mean, it was, but you have always been a firm believer that the first Protoss to expand dies and Cadwa has expanded here to the top left um, you know what i i still think Cadwa is going to be in a rough spot just keeping in the theme of stargate versus robo um obviously void rays are going to be something that comes out here eventually unless denra has like a, a very distinct plan to go you know just enough into stargate to get the oracles out and then back off into robo yeah like solely just using the oracle as a harassment tool in the early game and then backs completely out of that tech path i think we'll see probably a pretty good game from both of these people but um you know i, I still kind of hold true the first player to expand even in this case where cadwaz is like way off in the middle of nowhere i still kind of think that they're i think he's gonna lose the oracle's on... here the Oracle is here, and it's going to do a whole lot of damage. Uh, Cadwa has enough for a photo on overcharge. Is he going to use it? There he goes. Great reaction there. He's definitely going to keep those probes safe for a little bit longer. Though. And actually almost killing the Oracle, but that Oracle does escape with five workers killed to the one yeah. of Cadwa. Now, a Void Ray is in production to, uh, for Denrod to follow up on that, but also there is a Twilight Council here. Um, I don't know if that means, you know, we're going to see DTs, uh, we're going to see Charge or Blink. Uh, I almost feel like DTs would be the option here, though the gas income on one base is not going to be able to support um, a whole lot of DTs, meanwhile also producing Void Rays. You know, actually, to, to kind of make, I'm going to say, kind of a bold prediction, I would actually say maybe he's just going to get charge out of this. Um, I know, especially early on in Heart of the Swarm, you used to see uh, like White Raw go specifically for like charge lots and void rays, and then transition into something where it would it would come into um, like usage of storm and void rays just to kind of yeah, just to kind of counter everything up and make it a little more solid. Now we do see an expand coming out of Denra right now. But I mean, that's kind of where I, looking at how this is setting up, that's kind of what I'm thinking is gonna happen. Cadwa supply block. Dropping down three more gateways, so he's on a total, or four more, excuse me, he's on a total of five in a row. Yeah, um, and using this uh, the top left expansion mainly for uh, harvesting gas, um, he has over a thousand gas right now, so I'm kind of interested to see where he actually goes with this. He could definitely afford um, to go down some sort of tech paths such as DTs, uh, or I mean, if you, I, I wouldn't actually expect to see you know Immortal or Colossus out of this Robo facility due to the fact that you know he has seen the Oracle, knows that his opponent has a Stargate, and will probably likely see Void Rays here soon too. Um, you know, actually, Catbaugh's in a pretty sour spot defensively. He has one stalker here. Obviously, he has the overcharge. But all in all, two Void Rays is still going to kind of make a mess of things. Now, we do have a proxy pylon for Catbaugh coming in as well. And the, the Oracle expansion. is going to take get taken out, though. It's uh, but, much immediately rejected there by the photon overcharge. And the stuff. You know what? I like that play, though, because in that instance, you're actually just sacrificing the Oracle to fade out that uh, the planetary nexus. Now, as soon as that fades, uh, Denra can move in safely with those void rays and just start demolishing. Yeah. Because obviously, the mothership core has got to take a little bit to recharge. And actually, as we speak, it's at about 66, 67 energy. Now, Cadwell actually going for upgrade to shields level one. So, um, 
I'm not really sure if he's going to go for uh, those Archons. Uh, it doesn't really look like it at this point. He's got a bunch of gas, but he really needs to get up on that uh, mineral income to actually support something like that. Um, there are three Void Rains just hanging out there that we haven't seen. And a fourth one on the way. Yeah. Uh, so um, it, it might be possible that he's waiting for some sort of critical mass of Void Rays. Now he's going to have to hurry because his window of opportunity is actually just about up. He's got those four Void Rays out, but the Mothership Core within the next couple of seconds is actually going to have enough energy to go ahead and Photon Overcharge again. And we do see a second Robo going down for Catalan. A Robo Bay. I don't know if this is... Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and say this is definitely not the right choice going for Colossus, uh, especially when you know, your opponent seems to be going heavy Void Ray. Um, even going for those uh, the Protoss Air Weapons level 1. Um, so you know what? They're pretty content the, to go with uh, the Stargate tech. Yeah, but I mean, look at what Cadwa actually sees of Denaro's base. He hasn't actually scouted anything. Like, he doesn't know what's going on, and he's actually just dropping his yeah. own natural nexus. So, Cadwa with the slight advantage in terms of economy, but he hasn't actually seen what his opponent is doing. Like, he actually has no idea what's going on across the map from yeah. him. And, and actually, a second Stargate going down for Denra, as well as two Robo facilities. Is he going to move in with these Void Rays? Yeah, it looks like he is, but Cadwa will see everything that's going on here with that Observer. Um, and it looks like the Void Rays have actually stopped, so he is going to have some time to react here if he notices it. He has a Colossus in production. Um, is not going to cancel that due to seeing these Void Rays here. Yeah, and I mean, at this point, Denra's in kind of a weird position in terms of attacking. Like we were just talking about, with Photon Overcharge is ready. He can throw another one. There are three, four, six, seven Stalkers over here. And another one right there to make eight. Or is that uh, no, that would still be seven. That Sorry, seven. I, I caught that one right on the end when I was... Uh, okay. okay. So we do see the four Void Rays from Denra. I can't Denra. count the shit. Well, that's okay. They were out of frame when I was trying to count them. So again, <laughs> don't do math on stream. <laughs> we have a fifth Void Ray coming across the map. Now, I'm not... No, these are armored. Let's go down here. Look, prismatic alignment plus six versus armored units. So we have that clear. Going to rip through these stalkers. Actually, I think with five of these, you'd be just fine. And then obviously with the uh, planetary nexus, you're going to have to rip through that as well. Cadwell's actually moving out with these zealots and immortals, and there is a decent amount of stuff at home for Denron, uh, mainly stalkers. Though he does have um, a couple void rays on the way. That looks like the rally just down there. And ooh, is this one actually going to get caught? Uh, I, okay, the only thing that can shoot up is sentry, so it's not going to be a problem anyway. Yeah, it's going to get tickled a little bit. Going to be just fine, though. Now, if we go back over to the other side, that makes six, seven, eight void rays <laughs> total. Zero fucks given by that void ray. <laughs> just completely blows right past that sentry. Uh, meanwhile, uh -oh. the push is here. It's going to happen and here. Actually using that void ray for a little bit of extra damage on those immortals. The zealots are going to get taken out in the front, but still managing to do quite a bit of damage. That void ray is working away at the immortals, and yeah. it looks like the front line of... Denra is going to hold. Yeah, but there's another actual uh, Zealot Warp in here at this Proxy Pylon that will be heading here. Though definitely not something I would uh, recommend him doing. They're just going to get pretty much torn apart here. Um, yeah, and we do have a Sentry coming in for Cadwa as well. Um, going to tickle the shit out of something and, and a hallucinated Colossus. I don't know how effective that's going to be at the moment. Yeah, why not though? And Denra actually just needs to move in and there we go. Now that is a lot of stalkers sitting here. That's nine stalkers now for prismatic alignment. There it is, and as we can see here, just absolutely shredding right through those stalkers. And it's going to move on to uh, the more important structures here. Oh, we're going to go there straight for the nexus. nexus. And I actually like that play a lot, just in terms of using up what you have left of your prismatic alignment. Now, obviously, yeah. it's not going to like the the nexus isn't going to do enough damage to take out all of the void rays. It does take out one. And then you have it just going to go ahead and clean up the rest of those probes and the rest of the buildings in the main base of Cadwa. And now uh, Cadwa's production is going to go pretty much completely down the shitter right now after these pylons fall and the other buildings as well. He's going to lose most of his tech. Now we do have some High Templar and Archons over here at that proxy pylon, but really I don't think this is going to matter. Like you said, Cadwa losing everything back home and not a whole lot he can do about it. Looks like, yeah, Denra is just going to be content here to just start picking away at these teams. That Colossus is actually trapped. That's unfortunate, but now I can get out there after... Artosis! Yeah, that's... Again, 
Artosis has uh, made a, an appearance here. Um, Killing actually off the robotics bay. Making sure no more clocks and can be built. Now the army from Cadwa is retreating across the map. Cadwa did transition with some Zealot Archon play. Another Void Ray arriving for Denra. These Void Rays are just going to make quick work of most of these buildings here. But yeah, Cadwa is actually sending his army right back there to the natural. Uh oh, this actually might be a little rough. Yeah, I mean, Stalkers can, you know, the reinforcement Stalker Warp in there is going to provide a little bit of extra DPS here, but actually I think most of these units are going to fall, and Denron's going to have to pull some units back uh, to actually deal with this. Yeah, now he does have a couple of Void Rays in production and a couple of Immortals looking to come out as well, but I, you know, at this point I don't think Cadwa is really in a position to base race this. Yeah, especially with Prismatic Alignment, Denra can make a pretty quick work of these buildings, though he has no idea about that top left base. Um, so many gateways going down there at the top oh left. Oh my god, so. but that one... Oh, is he going to get the Archon? No, he doesn't. That Archon actually escapes with 11 shields. Oh, but he needs to target... There we go, that one Archon does fall. The natural for Denra is going to fall. The, oh, the immortal. oh. Immortal's stuck there. <laughs> this kind of crab walking in place. But looks like Denra will actually be able to start cleaning this up. There are still uh, a few zealots under Archon left, and though uh, we do have the two Void Rays sitting up here, uh, I don't think this is going to be a massive problem for Denra. He has that third base. Uh, it's not actually saturated, but he will be able to uh, transfer probes down there once this is Holy cleaned. Holy gateways, Batman. We have eight gateways up here at that hidden expansion, as well as a massive oversaturation and artosis. Oh my god, Artosis. But, but he's not going for the pylon, but definitely. No, go but for the an pylon. Artosis Denra. Pylon. Denra. Denra. Pylon, pylon. Oh, there's the oh, GG anyway. Oh, that's no fun. I wanted to see Artosis again. <laughs> so, but we do see Denra taking that game, tying the series up at 1-1. Um, I'm going to have to take a, a very short, quick break here to, to stuff something in my face. Um, because I'm, I'm fucking hungry. Uh, seriously? Uh, uh, are you? Uh, is this second fucking grade, guys? What? What? <laughs> what? I. Uh? I don't exactly. know what you're talking about. Exactly. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. Jeez. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you're the one that said that, dude. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't referring to penises. <laughs> Assholes. What are you going to eat? Something. I'm just gonna go find something in the kitchen, and it's not gonna be dicks. <laughs> you know, you're not making it any better. But no, I'm, you... trying to, uh, I'm actually I'm... trying to, to confirm here that this is not happening. <laughs> no, and by trying to confirm it, you're just making it worse. It's okay. I'm trying to. So. I'm trying to ask you: Is there anything good in the kitchen you would like to eat? All you can eat, dick. <laughs> That's not what I'm going for. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'll, I'll be right back, okay? Right. Just give me, a, give me a minute or two. Okay. <laughs> My God. Oh. Oh, good lord. <laughs> that was so... Oh. Well, well, he is trying to find uh, something in his kitchen. I'm going to go use the restroom, guys. Hang with us. Thank you for tuning in to those that are. Be sure to go check us out on Facebook. Just search for Hive Mind, and be sure to hit that follow button. So I will be right back. Zero, take it away. I don't know where we're going with this, but okay. I, I don't know. Do you? Is there music? Do we have music? Uh, I can find okay there All we right. go we'll All go right. with that cool so i will be back momentarily although i could sit here and talk but i don't think there's much i can say
No bronze. <laughs> I don't have stories to tell. At least not as crazy as uh, freak stories. So I think we're just going to go with music. All right, so I am back. Sorry about the little delay there. I see people plugging in chat. Thank you, big heart to you guys. Really do appreciate it. Is Freaks back or are we still waiting? Uh, I haven't heard. From I made myself a oh. peanut butter sandwich. Okay, there nice, we go. Nice. Do you have jelly? Uh, I didn't have time for jelly. Mm. Jelly's too classy for him. Ain't, ain't nobody got Remember, time for that. We're we're poor college students. Typically, it would be peanut butter and jelly, but. I didn't want to keep you guys waiting too long, so. Oh, that's okay. I also had to take a piss. <laughs> Thank you for that information. Great, um, great. I just wanted to explain why it took so long. <laughs> See, in that time you used to go to the bathroom, you could have put jelly on your sandwich. Exactly. And, I <laughs> <have a> piss <laughs> during this next game. and then you would have had to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm drinking coffee right now, so I might have to do something else during this next game. Oh, oh God. No. Why do, we, why do we go down these rabbit holes? <laughs> Shit happens, man. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Mother of God. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my oh God. boy. I. Zero. Why? Why do we do this? I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> I said nothing. All right. Brought so it on which, uh, Zero, I'm, I'm assuming house. you're loaded in. Your, which, your, attitude, uh, your, your attitude is very conducive to these sorts of conversations. <laughs> okay. Looking at Yon Sue on the bottom left, correct? Are we on Yon? No, we're on Star Station, man. Yeah, Star, Star Station. Stations. Did we just do derelict? Yep. <gasps> we just did derelict. No. Uh, uh, uh. No. <laughs> force Drake, Force Damn Leather Belt. Ah! Uh. <laughs> uh, uh. Level 18? Uh, uh. <laughs> oh, dude. dude. Force Drake, Force Damn Leather Steve. Belt. <laughs> oh, I love that one, too. That one's amazing. I got him. I've got balls of steel. <laughs> I gotta rip off your head and shit down your throat. <laughs> I gotta break a broomstick off in your ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm an equal oh. opportunity. Zero, why did you, why'd you tell the people to fuck off? What? 
according to Forever Bronze. Oh, you're come on. No, you you're this? gonna believe Bronze, really? But, hey, he too. <laughs> I did the not <laughs> tell them to fuck off, okay? When was this? <laughs> this was not <laughs> at all. <laughs> just go flip a cop car. It'll they're, be fine. They're trying to... <laughs> yeah, Dead, Dead Frog's just crying. Oh, oh you come these on, guys? man. Well, this is terrible. This is like babysitting children, and then when their parents get home, they tell them all the nasty crap they did that didn't actually happen. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I believe you, man. I, zero, I believe you. I, it's okay. You, okay, you were thank insinuating you. that I was going to eat some penises earlier. So. <laughs> I didn't say no, anything you like that. that. One on yourself, you brought sir. that one on you, man. <laughs> Nobody insinuated anything, but you were the one that said you were going to go shove stuff in your face. Yeah, like a peanut butter sandwich. You never implied peanut butter sandwich. I never implied peanut butter. Or where you were going. <laughs> oh, I'm almost mean... done loading. <clears throat> Hang on. <laughs> Damn. During this time, I could have went and put jelly on my peanut butter sandwich. Why? Why didn't you do that to begin with? Because <laughs> I was in a fucking rush. <laughs> Is that okay? Okay. Okay. Star, star right. Station. No, back. Star right. Station. Are you in bottom right or top? All right. Left? I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking at the bottom right, and we are we are one and one <clears> right <throat> now, right? This best yes, of five. We are. All right. Situated here. Oh, penis butter from Cat in <laughs> the chat. No, you. Oh Jesus. Just, just uh, no comment. I'm, let's move on. <laughs> right. Please. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Counting down here. <laughs> five, four, three. This is a tasty sandwich. <laughs> two, one. Blast up. All right, so spawn together here in the bottom right-hand side of Star Station Tournament Edition. We do have nine Cadwa who just couldn't quite pull it out in that last game, dropping that game, bringing the series back up to a 1-1. And over here on the top left, we have Cadwa's opponent, Nine Denra, who was uh, able to pull that game away with some pretty sneaky void raids there. So definitely, definitely going to be an interesting game three. Oh, and it looks like we had a little... Oh, Faust making a cameo. Mm. He already knows what happens, ma'am. Don't spoil it. Faust. Why you do this? We're trying to have the illusion that these games are live. Ooh, is this, a, is this the scout probe from Denra, or is this the proxy pylon probe? I, you know what? I'm not 100% sure. And no, I don't want to ban Cadwa. Why would you ask me that, Twitch? Did you accidentally click something? Uh, I clicked out of StarCraft and I just about banned Cadwa. Oh, no. Oh. So we do see the first gateway coming down for Cadwa. No cheese yet. Uh, first gateway also coming out of Denra. If we look at the timings of those, they're about identical. Wait, what do you mean no cheese yet? I think anything that he does is cheese by default. It's too, it's too early in the game. You can cheese at any time in the game. That's true. Cadwa has... Uh, he has confirmed that one for us. Now, the gas is down for Cadwa, just now finishing up. Gas is just now getting started for Denrot. So, a little bit of a deviance there. I'm not 100% sure what we're going to see. And, oh, God, what is this? Denrot. Oh, Wait, shit. It's going to be a pylon. I'm going to follow Cadwa's probe, just because. Oh, yeah? Well, I mean, like, we got to know if Cadwa's cheesing. Right. Proxy ETs. ZRQ asks, anybody putting money on how many void raids in this game? Do, do we want to have a bet here for how many void raids we'll see? Are you thinking we'll see void, well, a lot of void raids or no void raids? I'm going to bet a lot. I'm also going to bet DTs. You're going to bet both? I'm going to bet both. I bet you both. Oh, my gosh. Both. Look at these. Pylons for both players. Oh shit! This is Fear Combat X versus Deezer. What the hell? This is Combat X and Deezer. Oh. Are we sure Kadwa is really not Combat X? Dead frogs threatening to punch Kadwa in the cheeks. <laughs> pinch your cheeks, not punch. Oh, I, I read <laughs> There's that a as difference. Punch. <laughs> and the proxy Stargate from Kadwa. Oh um, shit. 
Denra actually leaves that pylon, so no sort of proxies going on down there. Proxy cannon rush. Uh, no. Damn Probably it. not. <sighs> also, the fort's going down for Denra. But the question is, will we actually see um, Denra scout this Stargate? If not, he's probably going to die. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm not 100% not sure. Now, Stargate is just about done. We still have yet to see anything out of Denra. Now, Denra is thrown down a pylon at the front, so I'm going to assume he's going to expand. Maybe my mantra will hold true. Void Ray. <laughs> oh, shit. And looks like Denra's yeah, going to expand again. Pretty much, you know, what we saw in that uh, that last game. Cadra, Cadwa, you need to take Denra's natural. You just need to go do it. Or his third. Either or. Planetary Nexus. Photon Cannon actually going down there in the back. Probably uh, to take care of any Oracle harass that happens. Um, but then I would also expect a Mothership Core, which is on the way. Yeah, we do see that Void Ray just about finishing up for Cadwa. And actually back here in the base of Cadwa, just more pylons going down. No real indication that uh, Cadwa is looking to expand quite Void yet. Void Ray is out. Prismatic alignment on that pylon. And the Mother Shakur is done, but there is not enough energy for Photon Overcharge. So this Void Ray is going to be able to do some damage here. Meanwhile, a uh, an Oracle is just about finished. And we now have confirmed Stalkers cannot kill a Void Ray. Two Stalkers cannot kill a Void Ray with Prismatic Alignment. And here comes the Oracle. And causing everything to get pulled off the line. And no, no, you don't want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Photon Cannon. Um, yeah, this, this may just be game already. <laughs> Artosis! But, but was it actually Artosis? Because there were other pylons there. Yeah, this, this one just finished up. It's pulling yeah, everything I don't know today. about you, but Freaks is coming across his leg. Very garbled. Okay. Nothing? Okay, so it might just be on my end. Sorry about that. I mean, you the sound void... fine to me. I don't know. Yeah, it might be my connection, but the Void Ray does get taken out. We do see another Void Ray in production for Cadwa. Meanwhile, Twilight Council going down for Cadwa, so I don't know, is this the, the, the Stargate DT transition, or uh, are we going to see um, Blink Stalkers eventually? I don't know, I, I'm I'm hoping for DTs. I think that's what I just want to say, I, you know, every time I see Cadwa, I just think DTs. Yeah, is that a good thing? I, you know what, I'll leave that to you. Fourth gateway down for Genra. Meanwhile, that Nexus is start to uh, finish up there, about halfway done. But yeah, that, that's Twilight Council, man, is finished. Let's see. It was, oh, it second out. Stargate. So, actually, maybe it. You know, thinking about this in terms of like a follow-up. What? 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 Wait, look below that, dude. What is that assimilator? Oh, what? I don't know. Man. I think Kadwa might think that he's in trouble. And now we do see prismatic alignment used on that pylon Wait. right under the cannon. Denra is going to take out that. Why? This probe just took some gas and went back home. Okay, he turns around now. And, okay, so he's going to build a nexus there. I was just like, I had no idea what, what was going on. Well, like I said, I think originally it may have just been a response to feeling not very safe. He might have just been thinking like, okay, if he's going to, um, if he's actually going to go through with this, he needs something to help try and keep him in the game if he can actually manage to stay alive long enough to base race. That would be a hidden base? Uh, hidden base, hidden assimilator, just anything to buy him some time right. in that base. Right. Right. And a uh, ton more gateways going down here. So it looks like there is the Dark Shrine. Yes. That transition is going to happen God, also. We should have <laughs> bet. We should have bet. You know what? It's all right. We're going to see a... a a good fun game here once these uh, DTs kick in. So, uh, two Void Rays are on the way here. They're going to make quick work of these Stalkers. Um, and probably that Photon Cannon as well with the Prismatic Alignment. But once one Void Ray falls, and uh, the Photon Cannon is going to die. Static defense in StarCraft 2, really, really good. And we're seeing it right here. Actually buying enough time to get more Stalkers from Denra up there. 
and at least for the moment gonna drive this void ray away oh are they gonna get it oh no the void ray escapes with two health out the back of denra's base that's all right and cadwa banking a lot of money we just about saw facebook numbers on there and we do have five gateways the dark shrine is just about done so we are going to see some BTs warp in here shortly. He has a lot of gas in the bank, and he uh, definitely, you know, with that second base there, uh, he's going to be able to slowly get more and more gas. And actually, we have level one armor on the way for Denra. Level one weapons already researched. Five DTs have warped in. This is definitely oh, going to be... This is going to be horrible for Denra. He has no detection here at the front. He has... Uh, uh -oh. uh, Couple photon cannons, actually. Yeah, so one in the back of his mineral line. Oh no. <laughs> Quick work being made of everything here at the front. And this is essentially, uh, a, the, as uh, Forever Bronze was having this discussion with me earlier, this is uh, the detection check, which is essentially the cup check. It's uh, essentially getting kicked in the nuts right now. Um, that's how painful this is. Not only to experience, yeah. but to watch. <laughs> Yeah, in the uh, the midst of my DT games earlier today, that was it was definitely a cup check for the players I was playing and also for myself. However, there are two photon cannons going down here at the front. They are gonna finish. Ooh, so this DT is gonna get taken out, but there are still a few more taking care of that natural. They won't be able to actually push up on the field. Um, actually, so no, more than the archons. If we uh, if we take a look at what we're, we've seen so far, we've seen Cadwa fail in a Void Ray Cheese. Um, we saw him transition into DTs, get a little bit of a scout. Now these Archons are going to come up here and not do a whole lot of damage. Yeah, go straight to their deaths. Now they are going to run away, but I think they're going to get taken care of by those Stalkers. But the Proxy Pylon from Denra, still done absolutely nothing. He does have a Robo going down right now, and level 1 armor just now finishing. And we also have four DTs just warped in over here for Cadwa. Ooh, I don't think the, the, the detection here from these Photon Cannons actually spreads here to the natural. So, is he... Yeah, he's going to push up with these DTs, and they are going to be able to take care of these Stalkers. Which oh, will shit. allow the Archons to move in. Um, but <laughs> he's just losing all of them. Oh, man. That is actually awful. That um, is not a good feeling. Not at all. Cadwa just completely containing his opponent right now. Yeah, and Cadwa actually turning around what was a pretty bad situation when the Void Ray Cheese failed. So, obviously, Cadwa with a little bit of experience in failed cheeses, I guess I would venture to say. But the Observer is out for Denra, so... Oh, shit. There it all goes. Yeah. No longer needs those photon cannons. I guess just mass archon. Yeah. That's the only acceptable response here. Void ray archon. How about just archon? But we all love void rays. Skill rays, yes we do. And we get the uh, the actual natural expansion of Cadwa just now going down. And a third or fourth. These fourth. archons are gonna be taken care of. Where where is the observer? Not with the army. Yeah, it just like completely disappeared here. Oh no. Uh oh. This is gonna be rough. Where did it go? I can't find it. Um, let's look at units, and it's, there is no observer on the field. It must have been the splash damage from the archons. Uh oh. That's, that's no good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Denron, this has to be so frustrating. Oh, oh, you had the detection, you thought it was there, and yeah, it must have gotten taken out with those uh, the splash damage from the Archons. But Cadwa just now content to take the map, which is not a good position to be in if you're Denron. Yeah, he has another Observer on the way there, but apparently he doesn't need Observers to kill other Observers, so um, as long as he has Archons, but now he does not. DTs are probably going to be taken care of here. Yeah, on hold position or something, just not doing anything. And they get the one stalker. Good positioning, actually, though, by Denra to try and focus those uh, DTs through the, the narrow opening of the minerals over here. There are a lot of void rates here just starting to build up at the south side of Denra's base. So now that all of his units are out of position, this could be a good opportunity for Kadawa to go, you know, do the finishing blow. Um, also, Dropping down that third, I don't know if you already mentioned that, but there is still that proxy pylon for Denra. Uh, 
not really sure, you know, what he could do with it. He might be able to do, you know, like a proxy zealot thing. You know, at the moment, I think it was, you know, I think it was intended to be something like that just as a harassment, but I don't think it ever got really utilized or the ability to have it yeah. utilized was never achieved just, by... Just uh, trying to think if there's a way that he can actually use that uh, now. And more, we have a total of seven Void Rays back here for Cadwa, so this is actually going to be kind of rough for Denra to deal with. That Oracle I mean, is still like, there as well with full energy. Well, I didn't even see that. So yeah, we're in level one air armor coming out of Cadwa. And, and five DTs. DTs. Oh no. Cadwa, the master of the Void Ray DT build. Best Void Ray DT player NA. And the, the DT distraction is a bot time for these Void Rays to move in. Looks like they're gonna focus on that Nexus. And uh, with with uh, the prismatic alignment, this is just gonna fall so quickly. Yeah. And you know this cannon really isn't going to matter over here. <laughs> Not at all. Actually taking out one of the Void Rays, but really, I mean, no amount of stalkers is going to beat this. Yeah, especially once Prismatic Alignment recharges, it's, it's lights out. However, they do have two attack and one armor. Meanwhile, the Void Rays don't have any armor for now. So now we have, we've had ten Void Rays out on the field. A, oh my god, Cadwa just wrecking face with those skill rays. Yeah, even with those upgrades, the stalkers aren't able to take care of these void rays. Um, yeah, I think this is GG for Denra. Not really a whole lot he can do at this point. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's got a few photon cannons here at the natural um, towards the, the end, towards the ramp there in, in the main base, but really uh, nothing I can see happening here. Not even harvesting from that natural. Yeah, and we do have these two Void Rays going to come up here and try and deal with these cannons, but going to be forced to pull back. One actually getting lost. Oh my god. The slow push of the Void Rays. We have yeah. the Flight of the Bumblebee as a song. We need the Flight of the Void Rays. What would that sound like as a song? <laughs> yeah, it would be one note that they played the entire time. Uh, I think when you activate Prismatic Alignment, the note gets a little bit higher. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, like, I... I'm in a comp class. I can I can try and make that happen. Or maybe it just gets louder. I don't know. Maybe. Void Ray OP. Nerf Probos. <laughs> and, and the two Zealots heading out across the map trying to, uh, to to counter. Meanwhile, there are actually a few Zealots here at the Natural Bird Cadwall, which I did not catch, that are um, forcing those probes to uh, go over to the hidden third. And we actually have two more Void Rays in production on top of the six that are already out on the field. So I don't know who's currently ahead in the uh, the Void Ray game, but... Yeah, pretty much everything lost here for Denra. It's definitely GG. Honestly, this game has been over for a little while. We're just waiting for that GG. We're just waiting for it to sink in to Denra here. And actually, I think Denra's... I think he's content to make Cadwa kill everything after that frustrating of an experience. Yeah, and that might just be what happens here. Um, he has an assimilator and a pylon. Uh, it was a GG. So, actually not forcing Cadwa to uh, kill everything on the map, but close enough. He had lost that game about five minutes ago, maybe even more than that. <laughs> Well, and it's really frustrating when your opponent does that, where it's just kind of a continual bombardment of heavy units like that. It's really tough to deal with. And actually, on that note, I would like to commend Denra for the way he handled that. Because even though it was a, a kind of a, a losing effort, he did what he could. Right. Cadwa now at a 2-1 lead. Going into our final game, which is on Yansu. Or not our final game. Whoa, what am I doing? We're in the best of five series. Derp. <laughs> Don't be wow. an asshole. Don't be an asshole, Woodhouse. God damn it, Woodhouse. <laughs> I know. I am really sorry. We, we are in a best of five series, so this is not our last game. I don't know why a best of four would work. It probably wouldn't. So. <laughs> best of four. 
First one to two, I guess. <laughs> yeah, first one to two win. Okay. Yes, Denra is a gentleman. <laughs> Quite. <clears throat> so, uh, when you are ready, Zero. Loading. That's quite all right. Mm-hmm. So now. God, he's just anxious now. I. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's the coffee combined with the the jelly sugar, right? Or the the peanut butter sugar. Actually, oh, there was no there. Okay, so there was there was no jelly. So it's just the coffee. All right. Just the coffee. <laughs> We're just picking on you, man. <laughs> Oh, I give him incessant amounts of shit all the time. <laughs> I'm used to it. I'm sure he's used to it. You can fuck right off. <laughs> That's the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Dead Frogs, yes. There's one more series on tap for tonight. And then uh, we'll be calling it an evening. And hopefully we'll line up with Day 9. So you guys can get out of here and go watch his final, uh, final stream of the week before his day off tomorrow. Yeah. Do we know what he's playing on his day off? I don't. I didn't uh... look. No, I know he played Roller Coaster Tycoon last week. For like an hour. And I then he gave up and went to the, uh, wasn't it like a hospital sim or something like that? Team hospital, yeah. Yeah, okay. Why, why, did, he, confused. why did he was... quit Roller Coaster Tycoon? Because he, I guess from what I from what I heard from the aftermath, it was because he got frustrated with the UI. <laughs> it is a pretty awful game. <laughs> I mean, R Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is where it's at. I Play the shit out of that when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah, part would be, like manually, like building a custom roller coaster and making this, the drop just like insanely high, and then, <laughs> and then make it bank as soon as it gets to the bottom. So the roller coaster flies off the tracks, and everyone. <laughs> You're <laughs> God, he's such an asshole too. Ling, uh, Ling four twenty confirming. They're not real people. Here. He, he, poor people. Ling four twenty is confirming that that was a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad. Okie dokie, are we ready? I think we are. Where are we starting, Zero? Starting in the bottom left. Okay. Go up to one. Give us a countdown, buddy. All right. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. Okay. Game four between Cadwa and Denra. On the bottom left, we have our purple Protoss player, Cadwa, up 2-1 in this series. His opponent spawning up here in the top right-hand side of the map, which is Yansu LE. We do have Denra, currently down 1-2. Cadwa and Denra, both. I know, it's... it's Cheese connoisseurs. Well, Cadwa is. Denra's trying to be legit. I, he was doing pretty decently. I mean, he throws in a Nexus here and there, which I guess by default makes you a bad cheeser, but... <laughs> I mean, we could get Combat X in the call and see, have him commentate with us. I, I personally would love that. Uh, everybody hates Combat X. I think he's a pretty good guy. Cadwa says he loves this map. Now, we do see a, kind of an early probe coming out. I guess we'll find out why here shortly. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh-oh. I think this is, uh, yeah. I don't know what we're gonna see here. You know what? Yep, 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 yep. Meanwhile, the, uh, the, the non scout probe from Denra. Oh, I shit. I, I think this is gonna be a response proxy. Yeah. By now, we would see the gas. Obviously, skipping the gas to go for that forge. Oh, it's God. Be a, a cannon rush. Oh, no. But also a pylon from Denra. Maybe Denra is just going to um, counter proxy Stargate. I mean, Maybe. That's really all I can, I can see him doing right now. He did go for that early gas, but it's just not going to be out quick enough if this is a successful cannon rush. Um, we have the, the second probe on the way up here. This is definitely, definitely going to be uh, pretty interesting to see here and a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, and I, you know, I think this is kind of a flaw in this map, personally, um, to be able to do what Catwa is doing, but it's still legit, it's still there, and oh, we do have the pro proxy gateways. Ooh, nice. This is going to be a lot of fun. We will see what actually happens here, if he's able to get any zealots up before the oh, cannons have uh, run into yeah. the base here. 
Oh no. Cadwell scouting the normal. Don't lose your probe. Oh. Ah, alert. No, nope, he's good. just fine. And it builds a oh, pylon. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, does Denron know what's up? Is he gonna react appropriately? I, you know what? Probe? I think Denron knows. Oh my God, Denron knows. Oh shit. Ooh, oh, the no. cannon does snipe that probe now. Cannon. Oh my God. Denron subsequently has guns shitting his pants. He has two gateways <laughs> over here outside the base of Cadwa. Uh, one actually has the in production. Oh no, the triple cannon out of Cadwa. Oh. oh my god, no. Another pylon going down for Cadwa. These probes are going to continue oh. to pick away. He needs to get 50 cannons. more minerals and move and build a base somewhere else. He he's has getting, 400. He's getting it. He's getting it. Uh-oh. He has just about 400. Uh -oh. No, he spent it. No, he can't do that. Oh he, no! He needs more money. He needs to leave. Evacuate. Build oh, a new base this is not good. Else. This is not good. The cannons are going to finish. One gets canceled with low health, but this one is going to finish and going to continue to pick away at these probes. I think he's just going to start spending oh. money on zealots. That's not what he wants to do. He's going to lose everything. And yeah, he's spending money. He's not getting enough to build a nexus. Oh no. This is terrible. Well, he needs to survive with at least one probe. Please, please let it happen. He, he does gets have one out of there. He gets one. one out of there. 390. 395. Drop it and, down. Uh, oh, no, 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 is he gonna make it? Oh, he, oh, 400. Come on, Denra. I have faith. I don't think, he doesn't have any probes left, does he? Oh, no, yeah, okay. he's, he's got this one oh, way out. Oh, but he spent the money. Oh, he spent it on Zealots. He spent the money on Zealots. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now, now he's building a pylon. He needs to build he needs a build base. Access. But he needs a base. Not gonna happen now. We need a home. We need a home. Now I think he's actually just content to hide stuff all around the map. It's not going to end well. Hey, end you know, well. Cadwa doesn't have anything at home, but four zealots I don't think is enough to actually take care of all these photon cannons. Well, I so, mean, maybe, maybe he can force the stalemate? That's a possibility. Because, I mean, like, if Cadwa runs out of minerals... Now, Cadwa does have enough to drop down another Nexus if he needs to. Now, if the forge is unpowered, can he still build cannons? Yes. Yeah. Um, let's Same exactly. way that you can still use warp gates after the cyber core is dead. Okay. So and Cadwa is going to evacuate, but oh, no. please kill the forge so no more cannons can go down. And <laughs> oh no! This oh, is... this is not good at all. Now income has stopped for both I, players. I think I think dude, Cadwa is just going to relocate to Denros base, and he's got cannons there, so he's going to be fine. Yeah, I, you know what? I think that's the only response that you can do if you're Cadwa. Now, Denra is going to get revealed, and yeah, we do see the uh, I mean, the probe train from Cadwa. <clears throat> Luckily, Cadwa does have the minerals. He has four... Oh, no, 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 he spent... Okay, okay, he spent that on the Nexus. Good, he had eight minerals left, and he built the Nexus. Okay. okay. So I think he's he's got this game in the bag. Cadwa rebuilding his base now on the dead corpse of his opponent. And really, oh. nothing Denra can do about it. Right? No, and Denra is going to just kind of run around the map with these zealots. At the same time, Cadwa in the better position of the two. Yeah, I just... Uh, how would this work out if Cadwa did not have the money to build that base there? That Basically, been... you, uh, you come to a position where the game will time you out after X amount of time because neither player is mining. Yeah. And it becomes a draw. And then you have to replay the match. The Nexus does fall off for Cadwa here shortly. Two zealots do have their work cut out for them, but they finally succeed. And these two zealots. Okay, I was going to say these two zealots from Denra are going to find a very, very sad position when they get over oh, there. But... I think the only way that this could work is if Denra has impeccable zealot micro and, you know throws a couple swings at the photon cannons and then backs off without losing all of his shields and regenerates, goes back in over and over again, but I don't think that would actually work. I was going to say, that's only 50 shields on those zealots, yeah. so that's, uh, I mean, you look at how much damage a cannon does, it's 20. So three shots. Yeah. Uh-oh. Another cannon going down here for Cadwad, just really securing, uh, his lead. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is a position that Denra really cannot come back from at all. Like this, this game is pretty well over at this point. 
Yeah. Dendros scouting everything up here, seeing exactly what Cadwa's got, trying to run actually by those cannons. Cadwa pulling towards the cannons with those drones. Or yeah. perhaps, like you me. said, there's nothing Dendros can do right now. Four Zealots is not going to win him the game here when you've got a bunch of photon cannons here. Um, Cadwa can't mine, I suppose, because the Zealots are here. But if the Zealots get too close to the probes, they will start to uh, take shots from the photon cannons. Um, yeah, and I think... This game's yeah. just ridiculous. So. What in the zealot on hold position? Doesn't even mind the, the presence of the probe right in front of him. That's okay, though. Just build another cannon. Oh, and he backs off. He's trying to snipe that last probe, but he does lose the zealot, and he's going to lose the second one. That's okay. He's got two more, right? That's what we'd hope, anyway. One probe and two zealots. Can he come back? Oh, he needs a probe and a chair. Where's the chair? He's probably sitting in it. I mean, it's probably covered in shit at this point, too, right? Oh, no. Oh, no, he better not lose these zealots or else. Oh. Well, I, I think it's a little too late for that one. <laughs> I think he's going to lose both of these zealots just <laughs> no. scouting around. And, uh, yeah, he's... <laughs> oh. So with that, Cadwa does actually take the series three games to one. Wow. Cadwa, you yeah. son of a bitch, Cadwa. That was <laughs>